Hey, this is Steve Domenico from Domenico 101 MMA. I'm here at Burke's Gym here in uh, Cranston, Rhode Island with Mr. Brian McGrew-Bogue. Mm -hmm. Fighting for the middleweight championship this Saturday night for wartime Muay Thai, brother. What yeah, is buddy. going on, man? Huh, you know, nothing much. <laughs> just in really enjoying the process of this training camp. I think it's been one of the better ones for me, uh, for, you know, mentally. Um, I've just been really enjoying the training a lot more, whereas before I was, it was grueling, yeah. and I kind of, like, focused on that grueling, like, oh, it sucks, it's hard. Whereas now, like, it's still just as grueling, but I'm enjoying it a little bit more. I'm, like, appreciating it, you know? That's with uh, more fights under your belt, more training time with, uh, you know, your big coach here, more experience fighting, you know, for in uh, Thailand not too long ago. You're all yep. over the lion fight cards, and now, you, you know, you're fighting for, you know, your, own, your home base promotion because this is a promotion that was, uh, uh, you know, made up from Amber and, uh, and uh, Jake Burke that, yeah. you know, it's a big, big, we have a lot of Muay Thai uh, shows, but this is one of the major ones in New England that uh, people yeah. watch out for. So uh, how did this how did this fight come about? You're fighting uh, a real big prospect out of uh, uh, Team Lincoln uh, Worcester. Mm -hmm. Great, great gym, a lot of, uh, yep. a lot of uh, New yes, pros, uh, Julian Wynn out of there. You got Mike Triana. You got some killers out of that gym. So you got yeah. a. This is definitely some competition coming your way for this belt. Yeah. So how did this fight come about? So I'm I'm really excited for this fight uh, because again, like it, it, coming out of Team Link, you know. Um, and so I just uh, I know that like after my last fight, we, we were looking for matches and stuff, and it's kind of hard because I guess you know not a lot of people are willing to fight me on my in fight yep. so what happened was is you know and i've always wanted to fight without gear i prefer to fight without yeah. gear and so finally um you know this upcoming fight uh jake and amber they worked on you know getting me a fight and match up and luckily you know thanks to miguel he took the fight uh which i appreciate and you know now we're gonna have a full rules match you know with uh so new gear it's, it's, yeah it's like, just elbow pads you yeah know. but that's that's great but now you can like, still elbow so yeah, i'm happy yeah. about that for uh, how about shins and no nope, no shin pads. so you know what and that's the thing about amy's like you watching the amy's sometimes a fight might not go your way but there's some shots in there if you were didn't have some of that stuff fights change in an instant they so do they this do. is big for you huh this yeah is huge yeah and i always i found that like whenever i fought without gear i always did best because yeah. i feel like it's like i don't have anything like holding me back and exactly. same thing with you know the rules and everything like that so i'm really excited for this this one coming up it'll be my first fight in the states a full rules fight where i can throw elbows um you know oh, and, and of course no gear I, i've fought a few times without it yeah um you know and so. that's your world man yeah exactly. and, and, you, and like you said there's nothing to uh you know interfere with you because you know you're fixing th there's always something to think about yeah and i and I, i'm sure like you know, you you land a kick, and you you know you're like, damn, that would have put him out if there was no shit. Yeah, you know, I had no exactly. shit back or yep. something. Yeah, you know, <laughs> uh, you know, strikes to the head. Mm -hmm. Two, you get in here, you got to watch out for you know that in the the Ammies. So there's yep. a lot on your mind in the Ammy. Yeah, and now that kind of gets washed away, and you get to kind of do what you do in the gym. You know, mm -hmm. simulate that real kind of fight. Yeah, you know? exactly. So, so that's awesome, exactly. man. Sure. Uh, and you're fighting. Um, I hope I don't. Uh, butcher his name. I've met him a couple times. Great dude. I met him at uh, one of your uh, the wartime events. I met him at Lion Fight. Yep. Uh, when he's had some teammates fighting there. Uh, up and coming good. Uh, Miguel Angel Cadiz. If I did your name wrong, I'll get you an interview after your fight, and we'll, we'll set it all up. Yeah. But <laughs> all right. So about this event. This is this is a huge event. It's at the Crown Plaza in yep. Warwick. Yeah. Uh, the last. I don't know, the last couple that I seen were at the uh, the Armory in uh, in Pawtucket, beautiful place. Yep. But this atmosphere, I think, will be a little I, different, much, uh, uh, probably better, I think. You're growing. Yeah, it's it's going to be at the Crown Plaza, and I think it's probably going to be the biggest event yet in yep. New England for Muay Thai. Um, you know, I know myself, I've sold about like 120 tickets so far. You're a big so. drawer anyway, but yeah, so. <laughs> yeah, so um, I, I know I just me alone, and I know that there's a lot of other people who sold other tickets, for, you know, a lot of other tickets from other camps. Yeah. So I know that people are pretty excited about this. Um, again, it's at a really nice venue uh, right here in Warwick, Rhode Island. And, um, you know, we got a pretty stacked card uh, and everything. So I think. Excellent. Bigger, so bigger you're going in there to, you know, you got a lot of Amy fights, you got a lot of, uh, you know, 
You're a veteran, and I mean, you're young, what, 23? Yeah, 23. You're young, but you got a lot of fights under your belt. You've been to Thailand, you fought there, yeah. you got a beautiful, you know, you, you got the culture on your back <laughs> yeah. there. Yeah. Uh, so you're living and breathing uh, Muay Thai. Not to get ahead of yourself, but, um, you know, you got things ahead, big, big shit coming on after this yeah. fight, man. This yeah, that's how, that's how I feel, you know, and I know, like, I, and then, like you said, you know, I do feel like a veteran. Like, I fought for Lion Fight, um, I think it was eight, nine times. Well, you won their like first f first card in New England, yeah, too, like when they first came. Their first, first ever event here. Yeah. So. And so it's like, I've, I've had that experience for quite a while, you know, and I've, I've learned a lot over the years. And like I said, with this camp, I really learned to enjoy the process, to really enjoy, like, my training that I'm doing as I'm going through it, even though it might be grueling and everything, but enjoy it and enjoy what it's doing for me, making me the better fighter that I am. Because that's the thing, like, my last fight, um, you know, I fought Muhammad Davis from CSA, and, you know, I did everything physically, but I wasn't mentally there, like, going into that fight. And you even ask people that saw me, and it's amazing how much people will see the difference. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They all said, they're like, you weren't you. You yeah. weren't Magoo. Like, I'm always, like, happy, go lucky mm -hmm. and stuff. And I was just, everyone's like, you just look different. And it really did affect my performance, you know. Not to take anything from my opponent, you know, um, but... You know, I just, I wasn't there, man. I understand. And, yeah. you know, there are going to be fights that yeah. way. And it's great to get them over in the Emmy and feel that, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, you know, you're 23. You're going to be turning pro down the line. You've mm -hmm. got a lot of backing behind you. I sold a, over 100-something tickets for the show. You sell a lot of tickets for uh, Lion Fight. You're huge in New England for, yeah. for an up-and-coming, uh, you know, Muay Thai amateur. And you have, you know, you talk well. You, you, you represent the sport very yeah. well. So, you know, Muay Thai, uh, any promotion, Lion Fight, mm. hopefully, um, you're going to be something big for somebody down the line. And, yeah. uh, you know, it's coming. It's yeah, coming. I, I feel confident, you know, I feel confident I'm doing that. Like, that's what I'm working towards. It's not just, you know, of course, like, you got to win fights, but you got to sell tickets, then you got to promote yourself. So it's mm -hmm. like, I, I try and focus on all areas of the fight game, you know, to be a successful fighter. Mm -hmm. And that's the other thing, too, is like, with this fight, I'm finally glad to have the chance to fight for a title because I've fought a lot of champions, yes. like in Lion Fight. Yeah. I've fought champions and I've, I've beaten people that are champions mm -hmm. and hold belts yeah. and other you know events and organizations and have won tournaments. Yeah. But it's like I never got a chance to take that. Yeah, it's them. their belt from another place. Yeah, yeah so yeah, like, yeah. you know, I fought like, you know, a couple of WK champions. Mm -hmm. um, you know, my former opponent won a WBC championship. You know, uh, I mean, all, all these guys that have fought, you know, different organizations and won tournaments and everything. Yeah. Other people that have won the, uh, the TBA, that's a big uh, Thai Boxing Association. That's a really big tournament in Iowa. I fought the winner of that, the winner of the USMTO tournament. Yeah. So it's like I've fought and beaten those guys. Yeah. And it's like I never got... <laughs> The, yeah, the strap, yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. So it's like finally, like I get like, whew, here's my chance. You know what I mean? You give to, me chills right now. Exactly. All I could see is Jake putting that around. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. I'm uh, not taking anything away from uh, you know uh, mm -hmm. Angel, but uh, Miguel. But uh, you know, it's going to be a spectacular night for New England for Burks. Yeah. Fighting at the Crown Plaza, like you said, it's the biggest more you know. Uh, local Muay Thai promotion in New England that we're gonna be throwing up. Uh, I do. I'll be. I'll be going Facebook, Facebook Live with your yep. uh, with, with your title fight. A uh, bunch of other stuff. Facebook Live there. So we're gonna be showing. You know, this could. Who knows what comes after this fight when you're wearing that belt? You could go off to the. You know. Yeah. The big it, big boys. You know. Exactly. What I mean? but, but that that's all up to your coach and uh, you know this great gym you have. So, mm -hmm. Brian. Shout outs, man. We got, so what's today? Thursday. We got weigh ins tomorrow. Yeah. Weigh ins are at Cl uh, Clown Plaza tomorrow. Is it? We don't know that. I think it's still so. up in yeah, We'll, we'll sure. get that information out to you. But <laughs> so, they, they're going to be in the afternoon tomorrow. Yeah. I'll be going live for their weigh ins too. Mm -hmm. So uh, we'll we'll let you know everything that's going on. So See, shout outs. Yeah, my short shorts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Ladies. Uh, so, nice. <laughs> uh, first of all, speaking of weigh ins, I got to say thank you to my sponsors, Project Lee Nation, uh, down on Oaklawn Avenue in Cranston. They, I mean, I'm telling you, their meal plans are awesome. They've been doing great. And I'm like, I don't even have to worry about it. I just keep eating their food and I'm on weight. These last few weight cuts have been the easiest for me. And you know, I'm even now possibly gonna be switching around weight classes, maybe going down a bit to 160, 165, kind of tossing around that, I don't know. Nice. Um, 
you know, and then of course, uh, you know, I got my sponsor too, Vintage Barbershop, Peter Kane uh, over there at Warwick, Rhode Island, keeping me, you know, looking good. Getting trimmed up for tomorrow though. Yeah. Um, so you'll be looking a little different tomorrow. Yeah, a little better, but still, you know, it's... You know. Tattoos will be, you'll see them flying, you know, <laughs> yeah. popping out tomorrow. Yeah. And then, um, you know, also uh, Peter Manfredo, I've really been working a lot on really um, nice. him, you know, privately uh, with my boxing and my Excellent. hands and stuff and working with him, you know, about like three times a week for this fight. So, you know, I'm really looking forward to using my hands and the tools that that he is able to sh uh, show me so thank you peter thank you guys vintage barber shop and um and then of course you know i gotta thank you know my parents and then my coach jake burke you know i mean you know he's you know been such a great coach to me and helped me along and then my parents for their continued unconditional love and support um through my career and what i've done and Getting to the top of the amateurs. Here we go, my friends. All uh, right, social media, how do we get in touch with you? Social media, the best way to get in touch with me is my Facebook page, Brian Magoo Bogue. Um, or you can also like me on, or follow me on Instagram. Uh, just got it started. It's at Mr. Magoo himself. Excellent. Uh, check him out on social media. You're always doing something. They're always doing great uh, charity causes here for Burks. Mm -hmm. You're always doing something, you know, around the world to, uh, yeah. you know, promote, you know, people that need support. Yeah. And you guys are always doing something here. And you know, you see Brian's page or Burke's page and it's loaded with uh, special stuff, training, good things they're doing, uh, media, uh, eating right, everything's on there. So yeah. my friend, you're, you're off, man. Thank you, you're Steven. off. Uh, I'll be talking to you after that fight. Maybe you'll okay. have something to say after that about your future. Who knows? But I'll be seeing you at the Crown Plaza I, Saturday night. Yeah, so I'll, I'll leave you guys with this. I got a big announcement after this next fight. Big, big announcement. But until then, so stay tuned. Exclusive with Dominico 101. Exactly. Right? <laughs> All right, brother. I'll see you. Good luck Thanks Saturday night. Fighting for the middleweight uh, wartime Muay Thai title. His first one. He wants glowing on him right here. Oh. Woo! From Dominico 101 MMA, Burke's Gym in Cranston, Rhode Island. See you Saturday night.